Welcome back to my Call of Duty gaming channel. I am Nessinator. Now, I have a fun gameplay commentary for you guys today. Actually, I have two gameplays for you. This first one here on Skyjacked, I'm using the HVK, uh, but neither of those two things are important in this gameplay. What I want you guys to pay attention to is I just got my score streak, my little Cerberus, my little tank r2d2 machine death machine i love using the cerberus man it's so much fun to use now some people out there like to just throw it out and let the ai control it and do its thing and uh, i do that sometimes sometimes when i'm playing domination i'll just throw the little cerberus out around b and let it do its thing if i know the enemy team is you know pretty easy newbie I'll go ahead and uh, just keep playing and let the AI do its thing. But if the enemy team is competent and they're trying hard and I know these guys are good and I know they'll probably take out my servers fairly quickly, what I'll do is I'll find me a little spot and I'll take manual control of my Cerberus and I just go all in on these guys. And on this map here, Skyjack, you guys will see me push the spawn with the little Cerberus machine and just go back there and have a blast and just go all in. It was so much fun. I remember when I got this uh, game here, I was uh, pretty intoxicated. I was out that night, came back, decided to play a little Call of Duty. And uh, when I went back there in their spawn, I just could not stop laughing, man. I was having so much fun. It was like blood for blood and by the gallon, and I'm just back here blasting. You guys are going to see it right here. And it was just chaos, and I was just having so much fun. And I'm telling you guys right now, if you have not manually controlled the Cerberus at some point in this game, you're definitely cheating yourself, man. Definitely try to do this at some point. Don't always let the AI control it. Take control. Try to push the enemy team spawn. Now, obviously, this is going to be a little more difficult on larger size maps like Hunted or, you know, Infection, something like that. You probably just want to stay around the middle of the map. If it's Dom, you want to stay around a flag. Uh, you know, in this situation right here, I think we're playing Safeguard and I'm just going into their spawn. And obviously, they're going to keep spawning here. So I'm just having a blast, dude. I could not stop laughing. I remember just going all in like this and just laughing my ass off. But hopefully, you guys enjoy this opening gameplay clip. And this will definitely lead us into the next gameplay, which is going to be just a regular game of TDM. I'm going to be using the ICR on the map EVAC. And in that gameplay as well, I do also control a Cerberus. So it's a little Cerberus thing uh, gameplays for you guys right here today on the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let me know down in the comments section below. Is this one of your favorite score streaks in Black Ops 3? It definitely is for me. So let's go ahead and jump into EVAC here. And I'm going to jump in to the commentary at hand. Now for those of you guys that are unaware, I'm sure most of you know by now because it does start today. It is double XP weekend this weekend. And I'm really surprised that Treyarch is giving us another double XP weekend, so close to one we've already had, where we had the double XP, double crypto key weekend. So now we have another double XP weekend ahead of us. Uh, I just hit rank 400 last night, so I'm definitely going to get it in this weekend. Try to get as close to 500 as possible. And if you guys remember, that's the mark that I said. I will be doing another stats video for you guys, letting you know where I'm at with calling cards. Uh, as far as multiplayer completion and all that uh, and all the good stuff about stats you guys know all that so I'm gonna go into that when I hit level 500 and hopefully that will be soon but it's gonna take me a while I'll tell you that this, this is definitely a slow crawl to the top to get to a thousand but it's definitely worth it we still have a lot of life left in Black Ops 3 the next Call of Duty doesn't drop to November so hopefully uh, you know I'll be able to reach that thousand mark but we will see uh, one thing that I did want to touch on too in this commentary, which is completely off topic and it's kind of serious, not too serious, but I've been getting a lot of messages and a lot of people hitting me up in my recent videos telling me, hey, I just watched your video, drop the like, I subbed, can you please sub to me? Now here's a little tip and trick for you guys out there starting Call of Duty channels. And for most of the people that leave those type of messages, I do visit your channels, I do go to your channels to see if you're consistent, if you're actually a Call of Duty YouTuber, if you're even uh, as far as relevant with the times because if you're posting black ops 2 gameplay still and that's all you post i'm really not into that uh you know i only post the recent call of duty those are the type of channels that i watch so you know if we're not even the same i know i have another person had a fifa channel and i don't play fifa nor do i watch fifa videos so there really isn't no you know similarities there between our channels but most of the people just do that are younger kids or people that don't know any better and to be honest, you don't ever want to do sub for sub, and I don't do sub for sub, so I'd appreciate it if you guys don't ask me that. 
you know, if you want to actually engage in some conversation or build a relationship here on YouTube with me, you know, visit my channel, leave comments, you know, I'll do the same if, I, if I'm into your content, and then from there, of course, I'll sub. But I never sub to someone just because they sub to me, okay? So, uh, no need to ask that. I did one of these videos in Advanced Warfare, and I think it's good that I address it here in Black Ops 3. I do not do sub for subs. I do not do likes for likes or anything like that, man. You like my content, you like it, leave a like, you know, sub, whatever. Uh, if you want me to check out your channel and let you know uh, what I think about any videos that you're uploading or anything like that or critiques, I'll do that. And, you know, obviously, I'm not the end all when it comes to YouTube videos, but I'm more than happy to check someone's COD channel out and let them know what I think. So, again, no sub for sub for me, guys. Okay? And that took up a little bit. Uh, more than I wanted it to. But anyways, last thing I want to talk about here in the closing is recently I heard there's going to be another patch that Bonahar is going to come out with. Some more nerfs and buffs of weapons. And, um, you know, I knew he was going to probably buff the Vesper again. That's the big one that I heard that he's going to have to buff the Vesper again because it's really broken. And I knew they were going to nerf it so much that it was going to end up being in need of another buff. So it's supposed to happen. We will see. Uh, but the things that I did hear that are kind of disturbing is that supposedly he's thinking about nerfing the CUDA and the VMP just because people use them a lot and that that's like a crowd favorite. And I hope that's not the trend. I hope Vondahar doesn't start nerfing weapons just because people use them the most, because people gravitate towards them or they're the most played. You know, that doesn't make any sense. That just means that people enjoy using those weapons because of its consistency, its accuracy, its dependability, whatever. Why would you break that? You keep nerfing weapons into the ground because people use them a lot. Before you know it, all we're going to have in this game is specialist weapons and a bunch of guns that are not dependable. So I hope that's not the trend here that we see in Black Ops 3. I hope he does not nerf the CUDA. I hope he does not nerf the VMP. Neither of those guns, to me, are OP. Just because people use them a lot doesn't mean they're OP, guys. I mean, that VMP, it has recoil. Sometimes it's a hit marker machine. The CUDA, sometimes it just keeps getting outshot by VMPs and Vespers. It's inconsistent at times. Uh, you know, ARs usually have a, a hand up against CUDAs. So I really hope that he does not nerf those weapons just because people will use them a lot. If anything, the shotguns need a nerf in this game. Uh, and of course, I do agree with the Vesper needing a buff. But anyways, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think weapon-wise needs nerfs or buffs. I'm really curious to know. In the end, guys, thanks for all your views, subscribes, and likes. I'll try to get another video out to you guys later this weekend. That's all I got for you guys now. Thanks for everything, and I'm out.